can you just like in the automotive world where they self park cars can you self park a boat and we took on that challenge and um, decided to go ahead and do that So today on this beautiful winter's day, we're out at Klosholman. Uh, this is our marine test facility and we come out here all year round. And we're here for testing for our uh, autonomous new product that uh, will be the first one in the line of many coming. We think it's really important to do testing in-house. And it starts here in the lab with the validating the functions. But then we do endurance testing out in the water. And that's also where we have the diverse range of boats. So we test one function in up to 30 boats. I have been involved in this project since the very first start. And it's actually started right here at Cross Holman when we had a customer meeting. The most difficult part by driving a boat is actually to stand still. And it's also very difficult to drive the boat in complete straight lines when you are uh, affected by wind and current. By automating this task, uh, we're making it a lot easier to park the boat in a narrow situation. With this joystick, I can control the whole boat. All the components needed to maneuver the boat from the steering actuators to the shift actuators to the engines. All of those parts you can control with the single joysticks. The other thing is that all of those parts are manufactured by Volvo Penta and by that we can control every single part of them. What's great about our testing is that we can take it all the way from the user experience and what you see in the screens down to how it feels when you're moving the boat. So I think what I look forward to about this product is that it will help so many in a difficult situation. I think automation has just started and we will see completely new possibilities with automated boating. What if a complete new crowd can reach out in, in this beautiful environment of boating with self-driving boats?